welcome. Uh, my name is Kathleen Bufflevin. I'm the Mountain House Branch Librarian. I thank you for taking time out of your day to come and celebrate the grand opening of our new li branch library site with us. I hope you, as we do, appreciate all of the hard work that went into creating our new space. I have learned so much about what it takes to bring a library to life, and I thank Mountain House CSD, Shea Holmes, the carpenters, electricians, painters, planters, movers, and anyone else who helped put our branch together. The staff, Kay Like, our library assistant, Bushra Khan, our circulation assistant, myself and a large group of others are enjoying working in our new and larger space. Along with our <clears throat> supervisors, city and county librarian Chris Freeman, and our supervising librarian Deborah Furtado, we like that the site is more centrally located in the community. We're glad to see so many of re the regular library patrons returning to use the local library again after our months closed. But we're equally excited to see many new faces coming to see and use the library and, and find out what we have to offer. Again, we welcome all of you and thank you for coming today. I now ask you to give your attention to members of Mountain House Pack 511 as they do a flag ceremony and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Audience, please rise. Color guard, post the colors. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two, color guard retreat. Please be seated. Thank you. Good job. Um, I always getting update, enjoy getting updates about our county decisions and directions at the Mountain House Community Meetings from our next speaker. I'd like you to please welcome the Honorable Bob Elliott of the San Joaquin County Board of Supervisors. Thank you, Kathleen. All right, thank you, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. It's a real pleasure for me to be here uh, representing the Board of Supervisors this morning at the grand opening of the, the new library here. Uh, it's a real pleasure just to uh, take part in all of these milestones that keep occurring here in Mountain House. Uh, we've got new schools that are, uh, that are opening, uh, a city center that's being planned and moving right along, so exciting times here for Mountain House. So it's a special pleasure for me today to present this special Board of Supervisors Certificate of Recognition to the Mountain House Branch Library, and please come forward to accept it. In honor of the grand opening and ribbon cutting event, congratulations and best wishes for future success. Thank you, Mr. Elliott. Staff was very pleased that our Mountain House Community Services District board members took time before today to come by the library to visit and check us out. One staff member spoke with our next speaker and was pleased to hear his concern that our library be kept technologically up to date. The Stockton San Joaquin County Public Library continually looks for ways to expand and enhance our library services to Mountain House. Over the years, these things have included Wi-Fi, downloadable audiobooks, Kindles for checkout, social media, and much more. We appreciate all of the board members' interest and concerns. Would you please welcome me, or help me in welcoming our next speaker, the Mountain House Community Services District Board President, Mr. Stephen Gutierrez. Thank you, Kathleen. And, uh, all I want to do, it's, a, it's an honor to be here today to uh, and welcome all of you to Mountain House Branch Library. It's, uh, it's been planned and was a challenge over a year ago. And uh, the special recognition for today is to clearly illustrate what uh, a collaborative effort between the public, meaning the community residents, Mountain House CSD, 
Mountain House Library Brown staff, uh, as well as the county's uh, community development, uh, Cal Persh and Shea, all worked together to make this happen. It wasn't an easy process. As And again, I just want to thank all of you for the patience that you gave us through this whole process to get it done. And the dividends, the return of investment, whoa, is this win that we're having today. <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to brush away any challenges, but on a serious note, uh, this, 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 our, our library right here is a really a demonstration of what uh, teamwork all in one really does in our community. And most of us came from different parts of uh, the Bay Area, some out of state. But the one thing I got to say about Mountain House is that we certainly are one team and we work together. And that's one of the trademarks of this town. And uh, I would be remiss not to give special thanks to uh, Kathleen and her staff and the Mountain House Library for Friends, I guess that's the name of the club, uh, for volunteering the time to put this together and the patience of all of you had uh, while we were setting up and planning for uh, establishing this library. This is a landmark, This our future library that gets posted out here. And if you look around, just the setting of this library we have here, and most people says, well, what is the trailer going to look like? There was concerns about it. But if you look at this, uh, look at the structure now, they did a great job. And it's through the hard work of Mountain House CSD staff, again, with the Kathleen and her staff, and the volunteers that put countless hours to help set this up. It's important. And I think most of you know about, you know, the Mountain House Public Library. The Public Library is just, it's, it has a very unique function because it has to provide a full spectrum of services to not only just a young youth, but uh, a branch of services for adults and different type of uh, liter literary programs. And that's, uh, and that's a very important thing. I had the opportunity to, tear, to attend one of our D.A.R.E. graduations, and it was just, uh, it was a, uh, one of those uh, champion moments that I looked out there and saw the young, our young people of Mountain House graduating from the D.A.R.E. program, and that gave me just that inspiring hope of a hopeful nation that our young generation are gonna be leaders and young ambassadors to the right things uh, and doing the right, at the right place at the right time. And, and, uh, and lastly, what I wanted to do is say that uh, I appreciate my board of directors, the, the colleagues. We worked very hard to make sure that this happened. It wasn't a neat process. It was the first time around. Uh, there were some road bumps, but, we, but as you can see now, as we sit here today, it was successful. I wanted to also say that the Youth Action Committee uh, will be starting a program uh, Monday. Miss uh, Tingle, I guess that program is going to be with program will resume on Monday from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. So have all your youth come out. If they need any help with any homework or if they have a specific uh, talent that they would like to give back to one of us. So it's a give and take program. But come out and during the summer, uh, the uh, older youth will be having uh, summer coaching and reading sessions for the younger kids. So there's always an opportunity to come to your library and find something for everybody in the family. So for those of you to my left limits that didn't hear that, uh, the Youth Action Committee, which are just uh, some of our top performers of our youth here, are going to start a tutoring program. And it's an exceptional program because it really augments and supplements our educational system. You know, as we all know, Lamerville School District, we are one of the most competitive uh, schools with API scores that are to the roof. I attended uh, last month, in fact, at the, the County Olympiad, I mean, the County's Fair Olympiad, and I uh, was proud to uh, sit there and watch Mountain House uh, receive numerous medals and awards. And we're one of the newest participants going against all the different schools in the county. And what that reflects is that parents, uh, you do take a, a, you know, a very strong and a very uh, encouraging uh, posture with your kids to ensure that their education, uh, their proper management respect uh, are, are attributes that need to uh, help them develop as young, productive Americans. And thank you very much for this opportunity. And again, uh, this library represents a mission accomplished in my book. Thank you. Thank you. Before I move on, I just want to make sure that um, I didn't miss them and I don't know you. So um, if Chanel Murray or Gary Probst is here. Okay, moving on then. Our next speaker has been wonderful help to me as she has passed along things she learned from her own experience with moving a library from another library system. 
Today she is here as a representative for our Mountain House Friends of the Library, a small but hard-working group you can see over here at today's garage sale book sale. Please welcome Ms. Karen Saunders, Secretary Treasurer for the group, who will tell you a bit about what the group does and has done for our library. Good morning. I have to admit, well, the first thing I said when I got out of my car this morning was, is it always this windy here? <laughs> the Mountain House Friends of the Library is a community-based, nonprofit organization dedicated to supplementing public funding to enhance the services and programs of the Mountain House Branch Library. Members of the Friends also serve as advocates for library services in the community. The Friends contribute to this effort by raising funds in a variety of ways including the sale of used books that have been donated to the library and by accepting monetary donations and in-kind contributions from both individuals and businesses. This year, I would like to recognize the support of our community partners, Home Depot, for the colorful carpet in the teen area of the library, which you'll see when you go into the building, and also to the Space and Engineering Academy of Merrill F. West High School class of 2014 for the computer kiosk at the front of the library. Over the past four years, the Friends of the Library has contributed over $6,000 to the county's matching materials program, which enables the library to purchase much needed additional books and resources. Last year, the Friends of the Library began our successful Adopt a Library program fundraiser which has provided funding for children's science, art, and cultural programs at the library. Today, as you can see, the Friends of the Library are hard at work with their combined used book sale, uh, community garage sale, and every dollar we earn today goes directly to the library. I would like to recognize at this time the members of the Friends of the Library who have worked so hard and have volunteered their time this year. So when I call your name, can you just wave? Elizabeth Brady Esch, President. Marie Mitchell, Vice President. Jen Gunderson, Publicity and Promotion. Greg Saunders, Book Sale Coordinator. Our newest friend, Robin Joseph. Angel Lamb. And Melissa Saldana, who unfortunately can't be with us today. The Friends of the Library would love to have you as a volunteer. If you are interested in becoming more involved, we have many opportunities for you to share your unique talents. We're also happy to accept your donations of gently used books for our used book sales. And if you would like to sponsor or adopt a library program this year, please talk to a friend of the library for details. And thanks, as always, for your support of the Mountain House Branch Library. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd now like to uh, introduce our next speaker, Chanel Murray, the district representative for Senator Kathleen Galgiani's office. Please welcome her. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to be here today. We have some a nice cool breeze. So it's not too warm. Um, I'm again, like she said. I'm Chanel Murray from State Senator Kathleen L. Johnny's office, and we have a certificate of recognition to present um, in honor of your grand opening celebration and to recognize the crucial service that you do provide to the community here. Um, I'm from. My office is based in Stockton, and we're very aware of how important literacy is and. Um, we're just really glad that the services have been expanded out here. And I uh, just want to congratulate you today on behalf of the California State Legislature. And now we're going to have the ribbon cutting ceremony. So could I please have our distinguished guests step back up and we're going to get our scissors and our ribbon and we'll take some pictures. And Okay, now to actually do the ribbon cutting, 
I have invited a family who comes to our library regularly. They're a multi-generational family of mother, daughter, granddaughter. And I'd like you to come up because libraries are for everyone. And we would like them to do the official ribbon cutting. Thank you all. I'd like to thank you once again for joining us for our ceremony today. If you'd like more information about the library and what we have to offer, please visit us inside. Visit us online at ssjcpl.org or join us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Pinterest. You've been a wonderful audience and our speakers were very generous, very gracious. Thank you all again for participating in our grand opening event. Please stay and enjoy the refreshments provided by the Mountain House Friends of the Library and our special performance by Kayla Coyle, Dance and Arts of India at 1230. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.